Hey folks, welcome back to the Cotswold Collectibles YouTube channel. I am Greg Brown, owner of Cotswold Collectibles. Uh, as you noticed last week, we didn't, uh, we were not able to put out a video. Um, I had a 24 hour bug that turned into a 96 hour bug. And so we just didn't have time. And um, so, uh, which actually worked out really good because we got a package from Jason and Steve over at Super Joe Unlimited. Uh, they sent us this really cool package in the mail and uh, we got it in and we got all these really cool items from them that are from the upcoming Super Joe Unlimited line. So just to kind of rehash what's been going on, you've probably seen a lot of posts and such like that uh, on social media and on the internet and it shows. Um, Jason runs White Elephant Toys and he does a whole different, he does a whole variety of different action figures and such. He does 118 scale, he does Migo size, he does, he's now doing one six scale. And uh, Steve Stovall, who is a very good friend of mine, um, is kind of like the super Joe guru. If you have ever wanted to know anything and everything about super Joe, um, Steve's your guy. So Steve got with Jason and they started working about three years or so ago um, to bring super Joe. Um, their line is called Super Joe Unlimited. Um, what they've done is they've re-engineered um, the body, and I'll go into detail about that. It doesn't have the one-two punch, but it also doesn't fall apart in your hands like the original ones from the 1970s do. So what they did is they, they, they fine-tuned the body, um, they redid the heads, um, they're gonna do the classic heads, they're also gonna do new heads, and then they've done some accessories, which is what we're gonna talk about here. Um, these items here, are on sale right now at White Elephant Toys, and that's W-H-I-T-E, Elephant, T-O-Y-Z, White Elephant Toys. And you can also find it on the eBay store, uh, My Vintage Toys and Trains. Um, they're gonna be the go-to place for now to go get all the parts, the bodies, the boots, the swords, the guns, everything else like that. But at the end of this video, we have some really great news that we're gonna be talking about with our involvement with, with uh, Super Joe Unlimited. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to talk about all the different parts um, that are available or, and or are soon to be available at Super Joe Unlimited via White Elephant Toys or My Vintage Toys and Trains, whole menagerie of these things. So let's get started. All right, so what we're going to do first is we're going to talk about the guy that's standing up already here in front of us. Um, as you can tell, this is just the Super Joe. And um, he comes outfitted. Well, actually, let me take two steps back. This is a Super Joe body. Um, the actual, the head, you'll notice with this one is a blonde. So with White Elephant Toys and with Super Joe Unlimited, um, you're going to get to choose a variety of different head sculpts. So this is the, basically the Super Joe head, but you'll be able to get it in blonde, um, brunette, um, I think black, orange, and such like that. So this is the one with the blonde head with the helmet. And so I quote unquote built this one um, based upon the parts that they had available. Um, so you have your red jumpsuit, you're going to have your gold armor, your gold helmet, you're going to have your one of your golden pistols, and I almost knocked that out of his hand, his, his fighting dagger, and then you have your Super Joe style boots, and your belt. So what's really great about these items from, from, um, from Super Joe Unlimited is that you can customize your own figure to the, to the likings that you want. In this particular case, I wanted to do like an up-armored Super Joe. Um, the other thing that you'll notice is he does have a dog tag and it's of the star. And we'll, I just call it the Super Joe star. Um, the good guys have the star, the bad guys have this radioactive uh, symbol that we'll go into details later. Um, he also has a belt and um, the belt fits around there with some pouches. Um, this is probably my only gripe with these pieces is that the belt is made from a harder material like the like the chest plate and the guns and not a softer material like the boots. Um, the only resolution I have for getting this belt on properly is to heat it up with a hair dryer and get it nice and soft or soak it in very, very hot water and get it soft that way. And uh, then you pop it on. Otherwise, it, it does have a tendency to want to pop off, but that's an easy fix and that's pretty much the only complaint, if I can call it a complaint, that there is. So pretty interesting workup on him. Um, the helmet's really cool. He has an antenna, comm gear, stuff like that. You can kind of see the details there. The pistols are really interesting in the fact that they decided to go against 
uh, the norm and have the trigger guard is open so you, you can fit the fingers through there, which to me is a super big plus, super big plus, because it, it helps to ensure that the hand grabs, uh, grasp it accordingly and grip it well. So here's the, this is the golden pistol. Um, this is the same pistol, but in black. You kind of see it there when you put my hand in front of it, so you can kind of see it. So it's got, so there's two versions of that pistol. Then there's kind of a little bit of a smaller pistol here that you can kind of see. Same type of thing, there's no trigger guard there. And then there's the black version that you can see right there. Kind of. And then of course, like we said, we have the, the gold knife, but then we have the black knife that you can see right there, which is really nice. It kind of has that homage to the, to the lightning. Still learning this folks, I apologize. Um, to the lightning swords that um, the Darkon had. Well, speaking of Darkon, we have some different items that would go with the bad guys. Um, again, what, like I said earlier, the bad guys, their theme is of a radioactive symbol. So if, it, if it's the bad guys, I guess you would call them the Terrans in this case, um, they're gonna have this type of symbol, which you can kind of see right here, which is of a radioactive symbol. This is the dog tag. Um, this is it if you want it in gold. Um, if you want it in black, same thing. It's just printed in a black. It's kind of very small to see here, but you can kind of see it. And then just for giggles, I guess if you want to have a Black Ops um, Super Joe team, you have the dog tag here that's of the small Super Joe. Further accessories are the swords. So you have your black sword and your gold sword. Hard plastic, very well made, uh, injected molded plastic and such like that. Um, same thing here, black pouches, two pouches here. And this is how this functions, just so you guys kind of see. And this is what I was talking about. It's a little bit harder to do because it's not heated up, but you're supposed to fit the buckle right there. So it, it needs a little bit of a play. Super cool thing for these are the boots. These boots are rubbery. Uh, more flexible like like the originals were and if I am correct I think these boots will fit Super Joe feet. Speaking of that Super Joe's Super Joe feet let's take a look at this body. Okay this is the Super Joe commander body. Um, as I mentioned before um, this does not have the one-two punch and I'm actually grateful for that. Um, as many of you people know, if you have a Super Joe body, it's pretty well in tatters because all of the joints were made out of rubber. And they're just, they're, I don't think, I don't think anybody's ever found one intact, especially with the hands. The hands just turn into dust. So I was, it was really cool that, that, that Jason came and kind of re-engineered the whole thing. Um, what he did is everything's, um, it's kind of like a, it's, to me, it's almost like they took a, um, a Guyper Man muscle body and then converted it over to here just for the few changes. So it has the uh, the blue trunks. Um, it has the articulation at the knees. Very, very good manufacturing on this body. But instead of having the flat feet, it actually has the articulated feet, which I think is a super great feature. Um, same thing with the arms, full mobility here, elbows. And then the hands are not the rubbery hands that they used to have. Um, in the originals. Um, really nice gripping hands. I've, I've put pistols in here. I've put the um, um, the swords in here, everything, and it holds it really good. Um, just has a couple of screws in the back. One, two, three in there, and then one back there. But this is a very um, well-made figure. Uh, it's um, the quality of it's very impressive. It's not, it's not cheap plastic. It is a very, it's a very durable figure. And you can take a look at the head sculpt. Um, very, very, very spot on likeness of the Super Joe Commander, but this in case, in this case, it is brown. So let's take a look at the body armors. Um, they're offering two different color of the body armors. I showed you the gold Super Joe body armor. They also do um, the black Super Joe body armor, which is basically the same as gold printed in black. Duh. And then there's the back detail of it. And if you wanted to get the Terran, the Terran bad guys, the Terran one is a different one. There, there's their logo, but the detail on the back is different as well. So, and then if you want to get gold, heck, you can even do gold for the Terrans. So, 
there's that you chose a little bit more, better of the detail right there and then the detail right there um i mean you distinctively do know who the bad guys are and who the good guys are on this um for the helmets um we showed the good guy helmet earlier it kind of has a a great a great hoplite vibe to it uh, it has a com gear here and such like that it protects the sides of the face and then if you wanted them to go i guess into doing night ops or whatever like that same helmet printed in black and then finally we we'll go to the reverse side these are the Terran helmets which the full face is covered up and instead of having an antenna it actually has kind of like a sharp antenna which kind of has an, again an homage to the the dark on sword really cool and then if you wanted to get it in gold you can also get it in gold so the great thing is you can take these and really mix and match them um, to the way that you want them um, finally um, what's really good this is shows the um, I would say the Super Joe Commander body suit. Um, I think they have different ones there available at the website at uh, White Elephant Toys. Um, unfortunately, I don't have it here in front of me. Um, all the suits, um, they're tailored to, to the scale of Super Joe. They should be able to fit Super Joe as well. Um, they do have the logo printed on here. So I do know that they have a Super, the Super Joe um, body suits with the logos. I don't know if they have any tear on ones or not at this moment. Um, but they have a variety of heads. You can choose your heads, you can choose your bodies, you can choose your body suits, you can choose your boots. You pretty well can match, uh, mix and match and build whatever you want to do. As many of you have also read and such like that, like I said, on social media and on the boards and such, um, Jason and Steve have, have always mentioned that uh, Cosworld Collectibles will be part of the picture as far as the release of um, Super Joe Unlimited. Um, and this is very true. In fact, we're very excited to announce that we will be carrying the first two boxed figure sets. Um, Steve, um, uh, White Elephant Toys, Jason, and Steve with My Vintage Toys and Trains will be your go-to place um, for the time being, at least that I know of, um, to get all the parts that we talked about just earlier, as well as a ton of other parts that I didn't even, these are just a sampling of what I had. Um, but we're going to be the place that you're going to go to to get the finished figure sets with box artwork, with artwork box, whatever you want to call it. Um, the first two sets that we're going to do, uh, we're going to be releasing, we're going to be releasing um, Super Joe Commander. Um, that's, he's going to have all his accessories and such, and he's going to be the, the classic Super Joe Commander that you're used to. And then to counter him, we're also going to be releasing Darkon, the leader of the Terrans. This will be the first of many waves um, that we're working with Steve and, J and uh, Jason on. Um, we're gonna, uh, as of this posting of this YouTube video, uh, we will have, uh, we'll be accept, this will be online, uh, accepting pre-orders and the release date is set for April of 2023. So you can order as many as you want, we don't care. Um, we're gonna probably gonna do one production run and, and then that'll be it. The game plan after that is to release a good guy and a bad guy. Um, we're just trying, we're gonna try to space it out so nobody gets overwhelmed and they can't keep up with it. But the game plan is we're gonna like I said, Super Joe Commander and Dark on, and then we'll do another good guy and another bad guy maybe in a couple more months. Um, but the best way to kind of keep in the loop of what's going on there is make sure that you tune into Cosmo Collectible social media. We're on Facebook and we're on Instagram. Obviously, we're on YouTube so that um, you're kept in, into the loop what's going on. Make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure that you like these videos and also make sure that you ring the bell on there so that you get notifications of things that are coming out. So as soon as we have information about Super Joe Unlimited, which we're super stoked about, we're gonna we're gonna be we're gonna be shouting it from the mountaintops because we're super we're super excited about it. Steve's super excited about it. Jason is as well. So we you know we want to make sure that you the consumers know about it as well. But that being said, uh, this concludes another video from uh, from me. And uh, hopefully next week I won't be sick again. Uh, but uh, we should be uh, posting another video next week. But uh, until then, like I said, like this video, subscribe to this channel, and uh, ring the bell so you get notifications. See you next week. Thanks.